Hey everybody, this is Rob Leo, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new Google Classroom. Uh, they just gave it a fresh makeover. The functionality essentially remains the same with some improvements, but where you find stuff might be a little bit different. So hopefully this video will ease some confusion as the school year gets underway. Um, what I'd like to do is really take an old class of mine. I'm going to pick on this Edpuzzle class. What I'd like to do is take this and turn it into a new version of the Google Classroom. So notice my pages at the top of the screen in the old version. I have a stream page. I have a people page. I don't have an about page. About lives over here. Um, a little bit different. Um, if I click the plus sign, all my functionality is still there with uh, creating an announcement and an assignment and a question and reusing a post. Uh, a major difference, though, in the new version is that there is now a stream page that only does announcements and reuse. There's a classwork page that only does assignments, questions, and reuse. And then there is a people page where you can manage all of your co-teachers and all of your students. The other big change is this gear you see right here. If you click on the gear, notice you can uh, edit your, um, your uh, description of your class, if you will. There's an edit button here. but you also want to note, and there's all, by the way, there's all your uh, general information from your class code, what the students can and can't do, whether it's post and comment, only comment, or only teachers can post, and your garden summer, guardian summaries turned on and show deleted items turned on as well. If you scroll down a little further, you might recall there was, in the old version, a um, add class materials button where you could make folders of content. That is now gone. So if you're a heavy user of the about page posting content there, um, there are going to be a couple different ways where you might want to consider doing that. So let's turn this into a new class. And to do that, I'm curious to see, because I haven't tried this yet, if I could copy. And it looks like I cannot copy this. I do have a new class. And if you notice, with my newer classes, I was part of a, a beta program and I um, got an early look at Google, the new Google Classroom. Um, your new classes, you can copy. So I would have to recreate this class from scratch, which really isn't that big of a deal. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to click Create Class. And I'm going to call this a numerical one hit wonder just to differentiate so I know what's what. Puzzle. I'm not going to put a section or a subject. I'm just going to click Create. Okay, the new class has been created. I just need to fix it up a little bit. I'm going to open this. I want to fix up my banner, so I'm going to uh, upload a photo. So let's upload a photo. I just put something on my desktop, so bear with me while I just drag it in here. Hopefully it's the right size. It is not, so bear with me while I find one that fits. Alrighty, let's try this one. There we go. Just going to fix the borders a little bit. Bring this down so it'll just say Edpuzzle. And now I've got a class theme. Um, notice now too, my stream page, my classwork page, my people page. What I'd like to do is replicate the about page. So as I'm doing this, let me just pull up the old version of the class. And in my settings wheel, I'm going to just simply copy text that I had before. And I am going to new class, edit my course description, and paste in the text. One thing I'd also like to do, because there is no like add materials page, I'd also like to grab the link that I included in the old class. So notice at the bottom, I'm just going to right click and uh, copy the link address. And in the new class, right underneath, I'm going to put class materials. And I am going to paste in that link. It does not look like it's an active link. However, it is. I'm going to click Save. And now notice it is an active link that will take me exactly where I pointed students from the old class. There's my class code. Students can post and comment. I would prefer it if only students could comment. That way I have a little bit more control, and if someone deletes something, I want to see it. So I'm going to select Show Deleted Items. 
this is for adults. I have no guardians in my class or, or student young kids in my class. So um, I'm going to skip the guardian summaries, but I'm not going to turn it off. So our about page is complete. What I want to do next, and uh, to be honest, in my current version of the class, I don't use the stream too often. I prefer using simply the uh, ask a question tool, but there is a post um, welcoming people and I want to reuse this. So in the new class, I'm going to close out the class settings and then for my class stream, I'm going to create an announcement. And now notice I can only create an announcement or reuse a post. Well, I want to reuse one from the old class. So I'm going to look for that one hit wonder ed puzzle. And there is my welcome message. I'm going to select it and reuse it. The edit box should pop up. There's my welcome message. There's my original link. I'm simply going to post it. And now my class has been populated with the old content. I have a couple more things here, like the uh, ask a question or an assignment. And notice when I go to the classwork page, you can assign work to your class here. You can create assignments and questions. You can use topics to organize. This is one of the most important new changes that you'll want to uh, take note of. And you can reorder your work any way you see fit. So let's start by uh, just adding a new question. And frankly, before I do that, I want to show you how my class is organized. I basically have three pages of content here that I want my students to consume. One module for learning is an introduction module. Students are expected to um, uh, read some stuff and view some stuff and then discuss at Google Classroom. Of course, I'll need to update these links to the new class. There's a transformation section where the people who enrolled in this class, again, are expected to view and learn. They're expected to create an Edpuzzle for themselves. And then they're expected to transform a lesson, discuss on Google Classroom. Again, I want to update the link when I'm all set. And then there's a reflection page. So what I'm going to do in my new class, think of these as units. It's so unit one, unit two, unit three. I'm going to call my topics introduction, transformation, and reflection. So to do that, I'm going to go to the classwork page. I am going to create a topic. I'm going to call it introduction. You can do this while you're posting your questions and assignments as well. I'm going to create another topic called transformation. And I'm going to add one more topic called reflection. Fantastic. I can reorder these. If I click the dots, if I screwed up, I can move up. Notice the order has changed or I can click and move down. Not like you can drag them. You have to click the dots to move up and move down. Now let me assign my questions or my assignments. I'm going to create a, I'm going to reuse a post rather because I already have this in my old class and I am uh, looking at the one hit wonder class. I'm going to use introduction first. I'm going to reuse it. My edit box should pop up. I can select a due date if I want. There's my point value. As far as topics go, this is where I would place this in the introduction folder, if you will. It's a short answer question. I'm simply going to ask it. And now my introduction is populated with that question. I'm going to do the same thing for the transformation. I'm going to reuse an old post from an old class. There's transformation. When I go to reuse it, I'm going to select the transformation topic. If you didn't set topics ahead of time, of course, you can always create a topic on the fly. And finally, I have a um, reflection post as well. So I'll grab that one, reuse it. And once again, I'll tag it with the reflection topic. Of course, you can set these to be drafts. You can set them to be um, scheduled when, they, when you want them to go out. But now the classwork becomes a little more manageable for the students. When you go to the stream, you'll notice that all those posts are here, but they're all collapsed. So really the best way for students to get to those types of assignments is to go to the classwork page and then open the assignments there. So that my content's all here, I'm going to invite a student. And when I come back uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you the student perspective. So let me just add a student account. And like I said, in a moment, you'll see what the students will see as they're enrolled in the class. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.